everybody and welcome back to my kitchen. I am Martha Lynn. It is Christmas Day and I am getting ready to put my smoke my <laughs> I'm getting ready to put my turkey on my drum smoker and I wanted to show you guys how I get my turkey ready. Now the first thing I always do is I brine my turkey. I brine my turkey for just over two days and uh, for the brine that I use this time and if you go you, I have a video of me going through the whole process of brining if you guys would like to check that out but I used a slightly different mix this time. Uh, this time I did an apple cider brown sugar citrus brine where I used uh, apple cider brown sugar salt uh, tricolor peppercorns bay leaves garlic cloves uh, sprigs of rosemary uh, orange slices lime slices lemon slices and honey uh, and it has and then it has uh, oh been soaking in that for just over two days and now I'm gonna uh, oil it up and put a rub on it I'm gonna make my own rub here today and I'm gonna show you guys how I do that all right and for this rub I'm going to be using salt paprika brown sugar, black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, thyme, and cayenne pepper. Alright, get my measuring spoons here. I'm going to go ahead and put my spice mix together in a bowl. Okay, so I'm going to use three teaspoons of salt. I'm actually going to, this is an over 20 pound turkey, so I'm going to double this recipe because this is just for like an average 10, 10 to 15 pound, and I have an over 20 pound. Alright, so six teaspoons of salt, one, and I am using kosher salt, two, or sea salt, three, four, Five, six, four teaspoons of paprika, This had no flaps on it anywhere. Okay. Four teaspoons of paprika. One. Two. Can you turn that down a little, please? Three. Hey, hon, can you turn that down just a little, please? Four teaspoons of brown sugar. teaspoons of black pepper
Okay, three teaspoons of black pepper. One. Two. Three. Two teaspoons of onion powder. Two teaspoons of garlic powder. If I can just get my... And I am compensating for the little bit that's pouring out over the sides. All right, two teaspoons of thyme. And one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I rinse my hands off because I stuck my hand, my thumb and finger right in that jar. And I do not want to just accidentally get cayenne pepper somewhere I don't want it. <laughs> that would not be good. All right. So I'm going to grab my little whisk right here and mix all of these spices together. Make sure all those lumps are smashed up and mixed as evenly as possible, as best as I can. All right, and now my rub is ready. Okay, so next I'm going to coat my turkey in some olive oil.
Okay. So I've got me a little a brush right here. Uh, you know what else? I'm going to get my board out. Because oh. this is a big turkey and I'm going to tie this bad boy up. So I am also going to want my cooking twine and my scissors. All right. Okay. So I am going to start by coating this in some olive oil. I'm going to take a little bowl here, just pour a little bit of olive oil right in the bowl. Okay, take my brush here. I just go ahead, this is a big turkey, I'm just going to go ahead and Spread it around. And put a nice, thin, even coat. All right, once that's got a good even coat, I'm going to add some rub. You know what? I'll go, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just go ahead and put the olive oil all over first. Oh. She is a big bird. Okay. And since I am making my turkey on my drum smoker, I will not be um, stuffing it with the, the stuffing. I'll be making a stuffing casserole instead. I will be slow cooking this gorgeous bird on the slow cook. That's my uh, drum smoker. All right. And, and now I'll be adding some red. A nice even dusting. 
and lightly pat it in as I go. Okay, and now I'm going to take my string and I'm going to tie this up a bit and then uh, put some rub on the other side. This is going to be an interesting one because part of the wing broke on this side. I think I got it. do kind of a crisscross pattern here.
And now we're gonna flip her over and flip it over and get the other side. Okay. I need to make a little bit more mix. All right, so we need some of this. Some of this. Some of this. I'm making a cooking video. You probably just need to take a nap. Hun, you're fine. You're probably dehydrated and tired. It's hot and it's hot in here. I've been cooking. Brown sugar. All right, there we go. Let's get her finished and on the smoker.
Oh, that smells good. Oh, that smells really good. All right, I'm gonna get this on the smoker and then I'm gonna get this cleaned up. <laughs> but she is ready. All right. All right. Let's go get this bad boy on the drum smoker. Right. She is in and she is going. She is hooked up to her th heat thermometer. I've got my apple uh, cider vinegar water mixture to spritz her down and keep her nice and moist and give her that nice beautiful glaze. Ooh, I can't wait to see when she's done, but she is going to cook now for about five to six hours. We'll check back in with you when she does. Or you know what? I'll check back in with you throughout the process. Y'all have a good one. Stay tuned. Yeah, I own.